Hi friends, happy Friday. We only have two days left of school. I'm so sad, but I'm so excited for you because you guys are all going to first grade next year and I can't wait to see you as first graders. I've decided to read a book that all of you love, that makes all of you laugh, that as a teacher, I don't always like to read. And families, you will see why. I hope that you all get a good laugh out of me reading it. It definitely won't be the same as if I read it in person, uh, but I know you guys will still get some good laughs. If you haven't guessed it already, because I know some of you are pretty smart and know which book that I don't like to read that you all love, it is The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. I'm excited for all of you. I hope you all have a great summer, and I look forward to seeing you guys uh, next year. The Book With No Pictures. All right. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here's how the book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what. That's the deal, that's the rules. So that means even if the words say blork, wait, what? No, that doesn't even mean anything. Blarf, wait, wait a second, what? This isn't a kind of book that I want to read. And I have to say every word the book says. Uh oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading now, please? Did you say no? No? Oh. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. <laughs> what? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. <laughs> Boo Boo Butt! And also the kids that I'm reading this book to are the best kids ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And these kids are the smartest kids too because these kids chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because these kids know that this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like, oh no, no, here it comes. Glurga waka mouth grump a do ay 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 bruga 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 oomfa infa. Blaggity, bliggity, glibbity, glubbity, glibbity, glibbity, beep, beep, boo, ee, 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 badunga face. What? Oh, my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it's completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this book is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. No, I didn't want to say that. All right, families and my kindergarten friends, I'm going to miss you. I hope that you had a good time listening to me read this book. It always makes me laugh afterwards being around the kids who are just cracking up the whole time. So I definitely missed that part while reading this book today. 
Um, but I did it as one of our final read alouds this year. I look forward to the last two days of school with you in distance learning. Um, enjoy your weekend and until Monday. Bye.